Hello, Tracy Jones here, and we are now going to demonstrate the use of the well saw 1118 horizontal bandsaw on cutting some one by two, uh, one and a half by two inch uh, flat bar mild steel. Um, first, we'll <clears throat> cover some of the parts of the saw. <clears throat> First, we have the jaw of the jaws of the vise. There are two jaws. You have a stationary jaw that doesn't move. Then you have a movable jaw to adjust for the size of the material. Before loading the material, you want to take the hand wheel this is the vice hand wheel. You want to bring it counterclockwise until it stops. And you'll know when it is at its farthest most point by looking at this adjuster plate right here. This adjuster plate should be all the way back against this edge right here. At that point, your vice has come all the way back as far as it will go and that vice is adjusted on a rack and then you can adjust the movable jaw accordingly. Now once the material has been placed into the vise like we have here we're going to move that adjustable jaw until it's where it needs to be by simply lifting up on the adjusting lever and sliding it into position. You just lift up the lever like this and you now have control over sliding the movable jaw forward or back. Bring it as far forward towards the part as you can. Push it down. Now it's not latched in yet, so we're going to pull it back just a little bit. And you'll notice there's a pin right here, and that pin will drop into an adjusting hole. At that point, we can tighten up the vise as we need to. So, we're going to extend our part and we're going to measure the amount of material that we need. Now, your saw arm can be adjusted up and down to get it where we need, need it to be. And this control right here controls the drop of the blade. The farther up you turn it, the faster the blade drops. <clears throat> We're going to lower the blade until it is close to the top of the part, but we don't want to touch it. So we'll open up the valve. What, the val what it does, it releases the hydraulic pressure out of the drop cylinder. Then we'll turn it all the way back to the right to where we want it. We'll come back over here. At this point we can adjust the amount of material from the saw and set our distance. Now this piece has been set for two inches of standout. So once we have it extended where we need it, we'll then tighten our vise with our hand wheel. Until it is tight, and what it has done is it has brought our movable jaw up to our part and secured our part in place. Now we're going to start our saw blade. These are our power controls. We have our coolant, which you want on. 
here's the stop button, here's the start button, so we'll start the start it up. Now once it starts, you also want to look for coolant coming into the onto the blade. You've got a coolant line here and one here. You want to make sure you have coolant flowing that keeps the waste material flowing out of the way and keeps the blade cool. At that point we will now open up our valve and for this material we're going to open it up to about between three and four on our cutting speed and we're going to let the saw do its job and cut through the material. Once the material has been cut through there is a stop an automatic stop right here that will shut the saw down once the cut is complete or you can turn the power off with the stop button. Now as this cuts you see the blade lowering. If you have, if the blade starts to hop up and down you may need to reduce your feed. Your feed may be too high and that's why it is doing, it's starting to hop. If it has a high-pitched squeal type sound, you may be going too slow and the blade is simply rubbing and not cutting. The saw continue to cut. You notice the coolant flushing the waste material away from the blade and lubricating the cut as it goes. We're almost through the part. You notice the sound is nice and smooth. There's no hopping, no bouncing around. Once it cuts through then, it will hit our stop button. You notice the head of the saw is getting closer and closer. Okay, it is cut through and it's shut down. At this point, you can remove the piece. You can loosen the jaw, extend it to the next piece, or whatever you need to do. And that is how to operate the well saw, horizontal band saw.